You're twice as sure with two great names, Frigidaire and General Motors. Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. More frigid airs serve in more American homes than any other refrigerator. And now Frigid Air presents Herbert Marshall as Ken Thurston, a man called X. Last night, a man died in his room in a small hotel in lower Manhattan. Ordinarily, the Bureau wouldn't have been concerned, nor the police, in fact, since the cause of his death was heart failure. But as they stand talking in the small bare room, Ken and the chief realize the police were right in notifying them that this case does concern the Bureau and maybe the world. Well, we've ransacked this room from one end to the other, Ken. Looks like that's all we're going to find. Well, it's not to start on, Chief. The biggest break in the whole mess is the list the police found here. Hmm, 750 submachine guns, Model R-14, 1,000 automatic rifles, 5,000 grenades. It tell us exactly with the list of stuff that disappeared from that army warehouse in Dakar over two years ago. But we still haven't found anything to show where this dead man fits in. Yep. Checked in here three days ago. Had a return ticket by airline to Akasa, Nigeria. Oh, sure, sure. And a canceled passage on some African riverboat called the Niger Queen. That's all. So, where do we go from here? I don't know yet. The one thing's certain, if this, what's his name, Jules Von Else, hadn't been knocked off by a bum heart, we'd still be in the dark about that $2 million worth of stuff swiped from Dakar. And paid for, Ken, by American taxpayers. Yeah, but it's worse than that, Chief. The best place to sell $2 million bucks worth of illegal guns is someplace where there's trouble. Maybe the answer is somewhere in the African jungle along the banks of the Niger River. In a way, we can still... Uh, Wait, Chief, Frank. Come on in, Pagan. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Thurston. Well, Schmidt. Well, I guess I'd better be going now. Oh, no, you don't. But, Mr. Thurston, I don't know nothing about from nobody. I, I never saw anybody before. I, I swear by the father of my father... Skip it. But, but... Talk, Pagan. The truth. But I was only... All right. Somebody said there was a guy in this room that wanted to sell some guns. So I came up. To buy some guns? Well, he, I, I, I thought maybe I could be a middleman. I, I know a lot of characters who always go around starting revolutions. I see. Anything to make an honest dollar. Well. <laughs> All right. You've stuck your neck into this, so now you're going to stay in. We are going to Nigeria. But I never, ever heard of it. You will. Chief, I'll send you a wire from Akasa. Come on, Pagan. I don't get it, Mr. X. Department stores, streetcars, telephones, and even this hotel. It's got ice water. If this is Africa, why doesn't it look like Africa? It will, Pagon, as soon as we leave the city. Now, we may get an answer to that ad, so you stay here in the room. The paper will be on the streets in ten minutes. But where are you going? To the Akasa docks to look up a certain Captain McCarthy. Who is he? Only a name so far, signed on a canceled boat ticket in a dead man's pocket. <laughs> Nobody's going to answer such a screwy ad. Gun collector will pay top price for the car models in good conditions and over two years old. Oh, it sounds silly. There's nothing silly about two million dollars. Two million? What are we waiting for? But it may be dangerous, so watch yourself. Oh, well, uh, in, in that case, I... Uh, uh... Any better place for a middleman than right in the middle? See you later. But Mr. X... That's right, Mr. Thurston. I'm Captain McCarthy. Captain Mac, everybody on this river has called me for the last 20 years. Real name's Catherine, if it makes any difference. I see. Well, you have to pardon my surprise. Yes, I, I know. You expected to find a man. Well, I ain't. I'm a woman. A two-fisted woman. Anything I can do for you? 
Yeah, you might tell me what you know about Jules Von Elts. Von Elts? What do you want to know about him? You bought him down river a few days ago, didn't you? Sure, he bought a ticket. The Niger Queen will haul anybody as long as they buy a ticket. Where'd he get on? Van Tool Landing. That's the end of my run, about 150 miles upstream. Anything there? Sure. The jungle settlement, native king, and the Lechner plantation. Which one of those was Jules Von Elts tied up with? Mr. Thurston, in 20 years on this river, I've learned one thing. To keep my trap shut. That's why I'm still alive, while a lot of people that used to be around here ain't. Oh, come on in, Mr. Thurston. Oh, Pagan, I see we've got a visitor. Mr. Thurston, I want you to meet my very dear friend, Monsieur Francois Le Villard. How are you, Francois? The pleasure, Monsieur. <laughs> we only got acquainted accidentally, you understand? Francois was really hunting for some other room. Precisely, but it does not matter. Monsieur Pagon has been teaching me to play Jean Rami. I find it the most fascinating game. Well, with Pagon teaching you, I don't doubt it. <laughs> Already, I've won 237 francs. In a week, I'll have 5,000. Hey, I wonder how much is that in real money? You won't have a chance to find out. We're catching a boat upriver in the morning to Bantu Landing. Oh. Bantu Landing? That's right. <laughs> but no white man ever goes to Bantu. Jules von Elst did. This man I do not know, but he should not go there either. They have malaria, snakes, crocodiles, wild animals. Ah, maybe that is it. You are going to hunt. Yeah, I'm definitely going to hunt. In which case, you shall need a guide, a man who knows the Bantu country like the inside of his own hat. A man such as the one you see before you now. Monsieur? Oh, no, I couldn't ask you to risk all those dangers you mentioned. Well, in return for my services and for exposing myself to the danger, I shall expect some slight remuneration, of course. There you go. Here's a man after your own heart. Oh, I, I think maybe I shouldn't get acquainted with people so easy. Come on, Francois, shuffle the cards. Hey, who's that? A good way to find out is open the door. Well. How do you do? You are the Mr. Thurston who placed the ad in the paper? You have some guns for sale? Hardly. I'm a reporter on the paper, Annette Collins. Miss Collins. I wonder if I might have an interview, Mr. Thurston. Sure. What would you like to know? Well, for one thing, how long you plan to stay here in Akasa? I'm leaving in the morning. Too bad. Where are you going? Up the river, to Bantu. Bantu? I suppose you're going on the Niger Queen. Matter of fact, yes, yes. It so happens I'm taking that trip myself, just for the ride. Quite a coincidence, isn't it, Mr. Thurston? Yes. Yes, and I think this may turn out to be a pretty interesting trip. Any way you look at it. Captain Mack, passengers allowed in the wheelhouse after dark? Sure, come on in, Mr. Thurston. We don't set up no formality on a jungle riverboat the way they do on ocean liners. Good, I like that. I want to know about John Lechner, this plantation owner at Bantu. What's he look like? Like a man that's tough enough to keep on living in the middle of a jungle with 5,000 savages all around him. Did Jules Von Els work for him? Von Els? You know, I just can't remember that name to save my life. All right. What about that native king you mentioned? Bacolo? Oh, he's quite a boy. Kind of likes to meet anybody that comes barging into his territory. You better look him up when we land tomorrow afternoon. I will. Too bad we can't send word ahead. He might cook up a royal reception. Oh, don't you worry about that, Mr. Thurston. You hear that off there in the jungle? Are those drums? Yeah, uh, signal drums. Been going since dark. You don't have to send word to Bacolo. He knows already. So? So they know all about you up there at Bantu Landing. Know you're coming, know what to expect. But you don't, Mr. Thurston. You ain't got the slightest idea what to expect.
continue with Frigidaire's Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall. All right, you buzzards, get a line over that piling and walk her in. Cut the motors. Easy now. Good. Make her fast fore and aft. Well, there you are, Mr. Thurston. Van Tool and such as it is. Yeah, it's not much of a city, Captain Mack. Half a dozen shacks and a rickety wharf. Native village is about a mile inland, and the lek that plantation's off there in the jungle. I see. And where'll I find King Bakulo? You won't have to. He's the tall one standing there by himself. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. We'll head back for a casa tomorrow morning, Mr. Thurston. Passengers can sleep on board tonight. Thanks. And be careful. Oh, sure. Hey, Mr. Thurston, you want me to go with you? Better stick with your gin rummy, Pagan. You've got a good thing there. Good day, Mr. Thurston. Welcome to Bantu. Thank you. I understand your name is Bacolo. You have been correctly informed, Mr. Thurston. wonder if I could have a talk with you. I had been hoping that you would. Shall we walk? You knew I was coming across. Drums have told it for day and night. And have they told you why? They have called you Mighty Hunter from across the sea. Whispered you have two names. Uh, have they told you what I'm supposed to be hunting? Mm. Many kinds of quarry in jungles of Bantu. Bacolo... What do you know about the Lechner plantation? We need walk no further. I have heard it said that John Lechner is evil man who deals in unlawful affairs. To inquire more is dangerous. I see. And would it be dangerous if you told me of two million dollars worth of stolen guns are being stored on the plantation? Very dangerous to both of us. All right, if you want, you won't. However, if I were to answer call for help from man with two names then the matter might stand in different light. Uh, Bacolo, how do I get to the Lechner plantation? Very well. So the crops are in excellent shape, Mr. Thurston. The jungle here is remarkably untouched, and the weather has been dry. But you did not come 150 miles up the Niger River to talk about those things. What is on your mind? All right, Mr. Lecter. But in our business, it pays to be a little cagey. Exactly what is our business, Mr. Thurston? Oh, let's stop beating around the bush. I'm in the market for guns. According to Jules Van Els, you've got some you picked up at Dakar. Really? And where did you meet this Jules Van Els? In New York. I'm willing to close the deal on his terms. But I've got to see the stuff first. Mr. Thurston, you've come to the right place. Good. One thing I can't understand is why Jules didn't send you to the boss in Akasa. He told me about the boss, but I was in too great a hurry. Oh, I see. Anak, Bambaku. There's really no point in delaying any longer. You may as well take a look at the guns. All right, let's go. Quite unnecessary. If you'll turn around, you can see two of them pointed at your back. Uh. Quiet devils, aren't they? Don't they know how to talk? They're paid to listen, to obey orders. Joe Candango, keep him covered. It was an excellent performance, Mr. Thurston. Until you said you'd been told about the boss. In that case, you'd have known that the boss came upriver on the same boat you did. Yeah. A dead giveaway, wasn't it? That's a nice choice of words, dead giveaway. General Park, the bungay folk. Tie him up. Lock him in the south wing. The boss will want to talk to him later. Okay, Lo, back up. Hmm. Bacolo, huh? Now, where does that tin horn king fit into this? And just who is this Ken Thurston, anyway? <laughs> The cars, Pego. Francois, my friend, excuse me. I trust you explicitly. Deal him out. You are most generous, comrade. Uh, when is your friend, Mr. Thurston, coming back? Ah, uh, who knows? When he gets mixed up on some business, he even forgets to eat. Uh, precisely what business is he in, Pego? Why, he's the. Oh, no, Francois, you heard me tell this reporter, Miss Collins, already. It's very secret. Oh, sure, very secret. Maybe you and he are professional card shoppers, huh? <laughs> That's what you think. Why, if I told you who Mr. Thurston is, you'd fall down subconscious with surprise. Come on, then, Pagan. 
surprise us. All right, he's... No, no, I, I think all of a sudden, I, I guess I'd better be going or something. Well, you'd better look for Ken Thurston while you're at it. Oh, Captain Mack, come on in, have a drink. Something's going on, on out there in that jungle. Them drums have been talking for half an hour, and Thurston ain't showed up yet. Oh, he's all right, probably over in the plantation someplace. That's where you're going. Tell him to get himself back on board. Huh? Oh, no, it's dark out there. Zellschmidt, when I give an order, I don't want any back talk. You heard me, get going. Yes, ma'am. Who's there? It is I, Bacolo. Bacolo, good. Can you cut these ropes? One moment. <coughs> there, now. Come outside. No one at Lechner's house has been wakened yet. I don't have a gun. Lechner took mine. Can you get hold of one? I have something better than guns, Mr. Thurston. What? Wait. Wanta, Benijak. Your men. Two hundred warriors of Bantu surround the house. We have but to drop flaming arrow on the straw roof to force Lechner out. Good. Then it's about time for a showdown. Where you may lead, we follow. Okay. Lechner. John Lechner. Who's there? Lechner, the place is surrounded. You and your men come out with your hands up. All right, have at it. Bantu, Shedman Kai, Debu! Stand back of the tree, Mr. Thurston. We'll shoot flaming arrow. All right. There it goes, an arc of flame. So help me at court. Look at the spread of that blaze. Lechner. Better come on wait, up, but you still can. Something happens to the house. Look. What happened, Mr. Thurston? Whole place blew up. What was it? The end of John Lechner, Bacolo. There were 5,000 grenades in there with those guns. <laughs> But I was going to come and find you, Mr. Thurston. Only when I heard all the shooting, I thought I'd better hide. I mean, I mean, wait here on the wharf until I knew where my services would be the most good, you understand? Okay, Pagan, now come on, let's go on board. What happened over there, anyhow? Plenty. Lechner and his men are wiped out. Guns are destroyed. Well, good. Then everything is all over, eh? No, I wouldn't say that. What? Lechner was the only... the hired man. He wasn't the boss who was on board with us, remember? Hello, Captain Mack. Glad to see you're still alive, Thurston. What was all the ruckus about? Oh, some guns blew up. Guns you hauled up here to Bantu a couple of years ago. So that's what was in them cases. I didn't ask any questions about them. We can't all go around sticking our necks out the way you do. I guess not. Where's Miss Collins? Right here, Mr. Thurston. Guess I had a pretty good hunch, huh? I thought I'd get a story for the paper if I followed you up here. You may get an even better one as soon as I talk to Monsieur Lavia. Francois? Yeah, he's the boss, back of the whole business. You see, Lechner let slip it was someone aboard this boat. But VR left the boat right after Zellschmidt. Haven't seen him since. Uh, he's got away, Mr. Thurston. And he owes me 3,000 francs. We gotta do something. Uh, Bacolo. Mr. Thurston. VR's gone into the jungle. Any chance of tracking him tonight? It will not be necessary. Debok, Jantubong, Degebenu. Oh, the drums. Jungle telephone. The word will be ahead of him before he's gone five miles. Mr. Thurston, do you think he can hear those drums out there in the jungle? He can hear them all right, Pagan. He'd hear them even if they weren't behind him. When a man sets out the profit on the weakness and the hate and prejudice of other men, he moves into a dark jungle. And as long as he lives, he'll hear the drums close behind him, like... Like heartbeats of humanity, justice, truth, and tolerance. And what man can escape his own humanity? you a letter from the superintendent of schools of uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Fine, Wendell, go ahead. It's addressed to you, and it says, Dear Mr. Marshall, on Sunday evenings, I frequently listen to your program, The Man Called X. 
Usually, I'm not moved to report on radio programs, but I do feel that yours is in a class by itself. It is my opinion that you are doing a lot of good in creating a better background of understanding for all peoples everywhere. Best wishes, sincerely yours, Loy Norix, Superintendent of Schools, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Well, isn't that fine, Wynn? I just have to say thanks to Mr. Norix and to so many others who have written us about the man called X. Thanks for being with us tonight. And I'd like you to know that Annette was played by Kathy Lewis. Next week, our story is called Operation Silver. And it concerns one of the most dangerous rackets in our country today. It's a thriller. As usual, of course, Leon Belasque will be along as pig on Zellschmidt. So join us, won't you, when next I return as the man called X. Good night. <laughs> Man Called X is directed by Jack Johnstone with music composed and conducted by Johnny Green. Tonight's story was written by Les Crutchfield. And so until next week, same time, same station, this is Wendell Niles speaking for Frigid Air, made only by General Motors. All characters and incidents used on this program are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual persons or incidents is purely coincidental. Remember, every Sunday night brings you two popular dramatic shows on CBS, The Man Called X and The Adventures of Sam Spade. Yes, for the best in entertainment, tune in and stay tuned in to CBS, the biggest show in town. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.